Hi, my name is Karyani and I'm from Acute Data Systems. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create production entry and bill of materials for Sage 100. Today, we'll be covering the following topics, creating the production entry and updating the production entry register. Let's go ahead and take a look. Use production entry to enter the receipt of manufactured goods into inventory and the consumption of corresponding component parts. This task is primarily used to record manufacturing transactions after the assembly of the manufactured goods. Before we go into production entry, we will just look up the quantity of the item that you want to produce in item maintenance. And based on that, we can make a decision on how many more quantities of that particular item we wish to produce in bill of materials module. So we will first go in inventory management. And in main folder, we'll go in item maintenance. So the item code that we want to produce is candy. And I see that I have 50 on hand quantities right now in my warehouse, 000. So I wanted total 100 candies on hand in my inventory. So I need to make more 50 of these. So click on accept, close out of this, and then we'll go back to Bill of Materials. In the main folder, we'll go in Production Entry. Select the next batch number and click on Accept. This is the Production Entry window. Click the Next Production Entry Number button. And we will now select a bill number. So the bill number is candy. Now, if you want to change the bill revision number, you can change that. But I want to keep the revision number or the default warehouse to 000. Let's look up if we have any option codes. So I have two option categories. One is the sweet and the other one is sour. Let's look up the options for these option categories. I'm going to select this option code A and for the other option category sour, I'm going to select the option which is applicable to that. Again, I'm going to select the option code A for the category sour. And once that is done, I'm going to click OK. In the quantity field, type the quantity to be produced. So I'm going to type in 50 because I want to make more 50 of these and type the production date in the effective date field. I want to keep the production date as 23rd of March 2017, so I'm not going to change that. Ensure that the correct warehouse code is selected for the parent item and for the components. In the next field, which is the Explode Subassemblies checkbox, select this checkbox in order to relieve the components of the subassemblies. Clear the checkbox only if you wish to see the parent item of the subassemblies that currently exist in the inventory. Since I want to see all the subassemblies, I'm going to keep this as checked. Now click the Lines tab. In the Lines tab, you will see all the subassemblies, which is the coloring, mold, sugar, tangy, and the wrapper, which all of them constitute for this particular item. The bill of material for the item is used to create the quantity for each bill and the extended quantities. If you want to make any changes to the lines, do so at this moment. If you want to add a line, you can also add a line right now. If everything looks correct, we'll click on Accept. Now, in order to update the production entry, we can click on the production entry uh, in the production entry window, you can click on the sprint button on the right hand side. Select the batch to print and click on proceed. And now we will preview the production entry register. This is a production entry register. And over here you can see the bill number which was candy. The production number that we entered right now was 000016. The production date which we kept for 23rd of March. We can also see the options that we chose and the option categories and the options that apply to those categories. 
we can see that the bill revision number remains 000, and we are making 50 of these. Over here, you can see all the sub-assemblies which have got exploded. And then we can see what is the quantity per bill and then the extended quantity for 50 items that we want to make. And we can also see the unit cost for each of these components and the extended cost. We can also see the GL account, which is linked to these items. And this is the total amount that you can see for making 50 candies. Close out of this. Do you want to update the production entry register? Click on yes. Once the update takes place, you will get this prompt if you want to print the daily transaction register. You can click on yes to view and update the general ledger postings. At this moment, I do not want to update and print the daily transaction register. So I'll click no. Once the update for production entry register has taken place, we will go back in inventory management. In the main folder, I'll go in item maintenance task and I'll now look up for the item candy. So over here you can see in the quantity section, the quantity on hand is now increased to 100. It was 50 before and now it's 100. So this is how you can create a production entry, post it and update the production entry register and verify if the quantity has increased in your warehouse by selecting that particular item in item maintenance. If you have any questions or suggestions, then leave us a comment below or contact us for more information. Thank you for watching.